Whenever I leave my house in Acton, I make a point of taking a plastic bag with me so I can pick up litter. I don't just mean beer cans and cigarette packets. I mean discarded newspapers, takeaway containers and banana skins. I even pick up those little black plastic bags that dog owners leave beside trees or hanging from railings. If I'm with my children, they often run ahead shouting, Ugh! and yucky! They're embarrassed, and rightly so. In contemporary Britain, it is now more socially unacceptable to pick up litter than it is to drop it. The problem isn't just in our cities. Drive along any major road in the country and you'll see rubbish piling up on the grass verges. Walk through an area of natural beauty and you'll find empty crisp packets and Coca-Cola cans strewn on every path. Beaches that were once the glittering jewels of our sceptred isle have been transformed into all-purpose waste paper baskets. England's green and pleasant land has become a rubbish tip. Does this matter? I think it does, and not just because we're polluting our environment and endangering wildlife. It matters because it sends a message that we don't care about the common parts of our communities, private affluence and public squalor. Well, I care, and I'm sure millions of others do too. What can we do about it? Forget about the state. The only solution is to roll up your sleeves and start picking it up. Yes, it's embarrassing, but not as embarrassing as seeing our beautiful country, with some of the finest architecture and landscapes in the world, descend into a third world slum.